Mrs. Budishan here. So today we are going to be doing a heat transfer lab. When you do any lab, the very first thing that you need to start off with is your question, right? What are you actually trying to figure out during your lab experiment? Ours today is how is heat transferred using conduction, convection, and radiation? Those are the three types of heat transfer that we've been studying. So let's take a closer look by doing three different kind of lab experiment demos for you guys, okay? Um, the materials that we're using today are going to be a lava lamp, a radiometer, aluminum foil, butter, candle stand, and a lamp. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to look at a lava lamp up close as it's turned on. We're going to see the movement happening. So I need you guys to first complete your hypothesis. It says, I think that a lava lamp is an example of a blank heat transfer. And you are going to write down for me, is it conduction, convection, or radiation? And then we are going to go ahead and take a closer look at a lava lamp and kind of figure it out together. All right, you guys, as you can see here, I'm speeding this video up for you. You can see that the wax inside of the lava lamp is going up to the top and then it's rotating and going back down to the bottom. And it will continue to do this in kind of a circular motion throughout the time. So the next part of this lab is to go ahead and take two little cups or some kind of stand. We're gonna put a strip of aluminum foil across it and I've just folded it into several pieces to make it extra strong. Um, I put a couple little tabs of butter across it, all pretty much equal size. Um, and then I'm going to light a candle and prop it up. The closer the flame is to the aluminum foil, the faster your lab will go. So I highly recommend that if you just leave it on the bottom, this lab experiment might take you a while to actually accomplish. And we're going to see what is happening here um, with the butter and how it melts and progresses forward. So go ahead and answer your hypothesis for this one. I think that the aluminum melting butter is an example of blank heat transfer. And again, you're going to go ahead and write conduction, convection, and radiation. Go right ahead. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the candle underneath the aluminum foil. It will begin to heat up. And then we can see how the butter is melting over time. I'm showing you each one up close so you can see the different spots on the aluminum foil and how it is melting at different points. All right, guys, our last experiment, we're going to go ahead and take our lamp, turn on the light and have it shine down on our radiometer. But notice um, we're not having it touch. OK, and we're going to see what happens. But first, we need to make our hypothesis. So I think that the radiometer is an example of blank heat transfer. So is it conduction, convection and radi or radiation? Go ahead and put what you think now. So as you can see, the radiometer is not currently spinning. But as soon as I turn on the light, you can see that the radiometer starts to spin in a circular motion, even though nothing is touching it. So let's go over our results, right? So let's talk about our lava lamp first. The lava lamp is filled with a liquid and it has these bubbles that are made up of wax inside. And those wax pieces heat up at the bottom because there is actually a heat lamp right here. Um, it's just basically a light bulb that gets super, super hot. And it heats up those wax pieces and it makes it expand and become less dense. So when it's less dense, it's going to go to the top because it's super hot and all spread out. And it's really far away from the heat source. So what happens there is it's going to start to become more dense and compact and it's as it's cooling off, right? So as it becomes more and more dense, it's going to um, end up sinking down to the bottom right next to the heat lamp again and it's going to continue that motion where it will heat up become less dense because it's spreading out okay and then it will go to the top because heat rises and then when we get to the top it's far away from the heat source it will condense down because it's cooling off cool falls and it will create a current um, so what do we know uh, which one is it that heat rises cool falls and it creates a current Hopefully you said convection because convection is a correct answer. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. So in this one, we're talking about our aluminum foil and we had our candle and the butter is what we're trying to melt, right? Um, the butter is actually in direct contact with that aluminum foil, which means that it's touching it. Um, now our heat source is the candle. The candle itself is heating the aluminum foil um, and then the 
the heat is moving down that aluminum foil to each piece of butter. And as you saw in the video, the butter pieces that were closer to the candle are melting the fastest, right? So this one was melting the fastest, this one the second fastest, and this one is hardly melting at all. Um, this is all through direct contact where the heat transfers through actually physical contact, through touching, okay? So hopefully you got this one as conduction. Let's look at our last one. Our last one was gonna be our um, lamp that is on our radiometer. And our radiometer was still at first, but then as soon as we turn on the lamp, um, it started to heat up, right? And it started to turn our radiometer inside, um, causing that motion due to the heat waves that were traveling through space because there was nothing touching it at all. It kind of looked like magic in a way, right? Um, so which one is it that goes through space? where it's not touching it at all. Hopefully you said radiation because that would be correct. You guys, I hope this was fun for you. I hope that you found it helpful to learn um, some examples of heat transfer. Thanks everybody. Hey you guys, did you know about 60% of my viewers have not subscribed yet? Could you go ahead and take one second and please subscribe to my channel and support me? Thank you all so much for watching. Bye everybody.